Hi everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert a Cisco Autonomous AP into a lightweight access point. A lightweight access point is required in order for it to work with a wireless LAN controller. In this example, we'll be using the lightweight recovery image. The recovery image is an image that allows that access point to join a wireless LAN controller. The access point will get the full image once that access point has joined the wireless LAN controller. There's a few things we'll need in order to complete the conversion. First, we'll need a TFTP server. We'll also need a recovery image for our access point. We'll need a Cisco Autonomous AP. And finally, we'll need console access to the access point. In this example, both the host PC with the TFTP server and the access point are connected to the same switch on the same subnet. Let's begin. We'll begin by logging into our access point. Next, we'll check that our AP has been assigned an IP address from our router. The access point has picked up an IP address of 192.168.88.2. If you have any issues getting an IP address from your router, verify that the bridge interface is set to DHCP. You'll also want to confirm that your GIG0 interface, which is connected to your switch, is up, up, and not shut down. Next, we'll verify that our TFTP server is running. and confirm that our recovery image is in the TFTP directory. And we'll also need our TFTP server IP address. Okay, and my TFTP server IP address is 192.168.88.245. Now we are back on our access point and ready to push the new recovery image to our autonomous AP. From the enable mode, we'll use the archive download command to push the image. Our image is now being uploaded to the access point. Once the image is uploaded and extracted, the access point will reboot. The access point will reboot with the lightweight recovery image and will begin looking for a wireless LAN controller.
if the access point is able to reach a wireless LAN controller, it will download the base image from the controller. If you like this video and would like to see more wireless videos, please comment below and suggest a topic. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.